football. I'd say there's a chill in the air, but there isn't here yet. But it's Not on yet. it's on its way. Uh, here with a very adorable uh, idea for painting your pumpkins using the festive Day of the Dead inspired design. Please welcome Hallmark artist Marcelli Calato. Hey, we're so happy to have oh, I'm you. So you're excited. so talented. So you're part of the pop-minded line at Hallmark. Yes. You're there from the ground up. Yes, I was. Right. So I helped uh, create the branding the, and a bunch of illustrations for it. Um, it's been about a year and a half since it launched. Um, but I've been at Hallmark for five years and just had an absolute blast working there. I, this is so great. Oh, Look at that. I love oh. that. Did you design yeah, the little guy? I did. Yeah, that's oh Admiral gosh. Ashbar. He's one of my favorite characters from Star Wars. I love that. <laughs> Has anybody officially said to you, you have the greatest job on the planet? Right. Like, I or do you just know this? A lot this of people assume? tell me this. I'm so, so happy that I work here. It's <laughs> so definitely, fun. I love going to work every day. It's fantastic. Were you always an art student? Yes. I, uh, I definitely drew when I was a kid. I went to illustration, I went to school for illustration uh, in college. I like to tell people that I went to school for finger painting. <laughs> so, and you got to turn it into a career. I did, yeah. So you never yeah. got out of kindergarten. You just prolonged nope, it, right? I just kept That's going. Awesome. Yeah. No, How good. Good. Today you're making wow. these really cool pumpkins. Yeah. And uh, the theme is Day of the Dead over there. But the one yes. that you started with here is... I see a very hot pink. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I personally love really bright colors. Um, I figured that whenever you want to decorate some pumpkins without having to carve them, you could actually just spray paint them. You want to tape the stems off and then spray paint them your favorite color. Mm -hmm. um, I love bright colors, as I mentioned. So I went went ahead and did that, and then I started decorating with uh, markers, and you know, you just want to use bright colors to kind of do. Do you have to use spray paint? No, you don't have to use okay. spray, spray paint. You can actually use uh, acrylic paint. Um, you can, a variety of other things you can use. Am I alone in this, or who's with me when I say I don't really care for carving pumpkins yeah, so it's kinda, much? Yeah. It's a little bit of a, a little shoulder messy work. Yeah. You get the, it's also, yeah. I like to carve. I just, they never look right. They're, I know. It's yeah. so much easier it to just art. paint or yeah. draw on it's, them. It's pretty easy to express yourself on these pumpkins when you're yeah. drawing all over them. So. But it's really, I mean, I love the color combination. It's a little outside of that typical box. Yeah, it's a little that different. Yeah, yeah. And why the day? the dead design. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What, what did really that like, was it something you were fascinated with? Yeah, design? so when I was a kid, um, we actually, my mother's birthday happens to fall on, on the 2nd of November, which is the Day of the Dead. Sure. So um, we always decorated really fun, like, pumpkins like this, too. Oh, um, so so cute. Um, And I've always done designs like this just to kind of honor her and that special day as well. And they're also, so. like, whimsical. There's not... They're... Yeah, no, I have to, I bring a really whimsical nature to all my illustrations in my work sure. that I do, so... You also come in early to work. I saw you. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yes, Take us I through do. what you did. I saw, we, we saw you in here busy at work. All so. right, so I use a, a marker. You can use a variety of different markers. You can use gold ones, black ones. Um, I decided to go with a black paint marker. Um, you want to doodle your simplified uh, Day of the Dead design in case you're not wanting to do the full sugar skull. Um, but then you kind of want to wait for that paint to dry just in case you um, smear it with the Mod Podge, which is what we'll be using next. Mm. So, well, what if, let me ask you, what if you aren't as brave as you are and just freehanding with the marker? Well, I, uh, I think that you can go out there and find some pretty simple, I mean, this is kind of inspired by some of the, you know, emojis that you're seeing out there. Oh, now. yeah. Yeah. So you want to use, you know, just fun, simple designs, big circles for eyes. You can use smiley faces, kind of like gritted teeth like this, so just to kind of sure. make more simplified skull designs. And yeah. then you just put Mod Podge and pour yeah. glitter all over exactly. it. Exactly. So you just use a paintbrush to put the Mod Podge on top of it, and then you just pour glitter on top, and you kind of shake the pumpkin out, blow it off a little bit, and it's good to go. Well, Mark is allergic to glitter. I don't yeah. know if you know that. So <laughs> this use shards of glass instead. <laughs> It'd be more appealing. You'd like that. Yeah. So this is probably more of Mark's alley. There's okay. no glitter yeah. here. Perfect. So what did you use for this right. besides so, the paint? Uh, just in case you don't want to do the sugar skull designs, you can do lettering, or you can use simple shapes here. And I decided to go with some um, polka dots. So yeah. then you kind of, I had one, oh, here. So then you kind of just start painting it on with the paint marker. I was going to say, that's kind of a snazzy mark. I heard it shakes. Or it, has it does, yeah. In it. There you go. There you go. Shake, rattle, Do a little, little dance there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just kind of get this all filled in here. Now again, you could probably use a paintbrush if you wanted to. Absolutely, use, yeah. You sure. can use acrylic paint. Um, it, it'd probably be a little bit faster. And these, um, I imagine, would last longer at my front right. desk. Absolutely. That's, the, that's my favorite part about these pumpkins, because you can put them out, and you could honestly forget about them for a little while, and they'll be yeah. there. So. Yeah, because when you carve a pumpkin, it starts to um, decay right after yes. you start carving. You mean after you, you know, scrape everything out of it and jab holes yeah. in right. it. Right. I, I don't understand why it would do <laughs> it such a thing. No. Right, exactly. And then for the final touch, we're just actually going to add a couple of beads of hot glue here and attach some of these oh. flowers. It's a flower hat. I would love that. You guys want to help? 
help me on this one? Sure. She's like, All yeah, right. crown of flowers. So, How would you describe your artistic take on things because it's really beautiful. Thank you. Well, I just, like I said, I like to approach things with a, with a much like lighter spirit. Um, yeah. I've always been told that I have a more optimistic view on life and Aww. I want to keep that going through my artwork, so. Well, are you feeling pretty optimistic about Debbie's uh, You know what, DIY Mark? I think she's doing her. a great <laughs> job, actually. You. I really appreciate her I, help here. I, I do mean, love it. You know, I teach, I, I teach my kids this. Everything, every idea starts on paper. Oh, starts in your mind and then goes to paper. And Perfect. we had a couple pages we snuck out of your sketchbook um, yeah. that we want to show. These are just... They're not doodles, but what are we looking at here? So this is actually how I start my process. Um, I typically like to draw out, I use a red, a red pencil to kind of mm -hmm. sketch out some rough ideas and then I start inking things in. Um, but I use this to kind oh, of rough that. out the design that I was gonna use for the pumpkins here. Yeah. And I do that with all the product that I design at Hallmark as well, so. That's so oh, nice. cool, I love it. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, thank, thank you so guys for I have some coming. pumpkins at my house. Yeah. Do you think you could? I would more would be more than happy to come <laughs> over. I would love that. That would be fantastic. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, Wait, so I what? wanted to show you guys this. I decided to doodle you in my sketchbook oh, as well. Oh, look at me. I'm no so handsome. You are, oh, look at Did you just and do that then, today? I did that when I was actually doing the exploration for the pumpkins. Marcelli. And I printed it for you guys. Oh, look Thank at that. We you. have to go. Oh, on the oh, fireplace oh, mantle. You don't know. This goes, let's give this to Kim Douglas. She can carry it with her wherever she goes. I don't think she'd want to, to no? be completely, no. That's why, that's the whole point. We're gonna put this on our mantle. That's what we're gonna do. And you know what you guys can do? Hallmark Gold Crown has some very special treats for your home this season. You can adorn your home with these bewitching Halloween decorations over here that we have and celebrate the Day of the Dead with these festive sugar skull mm. salt and pe pepper shakers. Aren't those cool? 